That lovely sound you just heard is the sound of my alarm, which means yes, it is time for me to get up. Now you might notice that is a very, very calm alarm and it's because I do not like to wake up anxious. Waking up is already hard enough. I don't need to wake up to the sounds of, you guys know the classic alarm clock sound. It's just not a pleasant one and it it's a good way to start your day off in a negative light. Speaking of starting my day off negatively, you may have noticed that I did start my day on my phone, but I also have two alarms set. I start one at nine and then I added that extra one at 9.30. It's like a cushion for me. So from nine to 9.30, I tell myself I can choose one or the other. I can either use that extra 30 minutes to sleep if it was a really rough night last night, or I can use it to kind of just prepare myself to get up. Now, I like to do that very calmly just by scrolling through Pinterest. I don't recommend scrolling through Instagram or TikTok, anything highly stimulating, because you know, they say social media in the morning is not good, but Pinterest is my safe space. Like I don't ever feel anxious looking at Pinterest. So I don't know if it's a positive thing, but I just know I don't feel bad after I do it in the morning if that's what I choose to do. It's time for me to get ready for my day. Now this is a really, really quick mini routine because I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Now you might say, why are you getting ready just to go to the gym? I very, very much believe in when you look better, you do better. And I just have so much more self-confidence when I look good at the gym, okay? Now I'm not about to put on makeup or anything, but I am gonna make sure we look good. So I brushed my teeth gonna tongue scrape, add a little bit of lip balm. Oh, I never leave without sunscreen. Look, if you're a hyperpigmentation girly, you shouldn't do it either. I'm pretty much just doing just enough to not look dead to the world when I leave my apartment. y'all i'm feeling good i'm looking good i've been drinking a lot more water lately i'm getting ready to go to the gym i have my on and off moments y'all but whenever i go to the gym let me tell you i feel so much better i promise you it's essential i feel better i look better i know it's redundant everybody literally says like oh go to the gym it's gonna make you feel better when i tell you when i go through my eras where i'm not in the gym I feel and I look like crap. So we're going and we're gonna have a good workout because we look cute. So today's gym outfit options are actually brought to you by Gilly Hicks at Hollister. Look, I don't know who was a Hollister girl back in the day in high school. I definitely was. And I remember coming across a brand called Gilly Hicks. I think at the time it was a little mature for me, but obviously I'm mature now so I can wear <laughs> Gilly Hicks. But I think also their clothes are a lot more like comfortable than i remember them being back then so yeah they're gonna be helping me get together a gym outfit for the day as you can see we've got options we've got an all white option on the left and then a little green short option on the right and you guys i have never in my life seen a workout corset and now i have and i wish i would have gotten more colors not to mention the super comfy white jacket okay so these are a couple of more options so these are kind of more on the soft side. You definitely can do like active things in them, but I don't think I would wear them to the gym. I think this would be more like a go to the market type vibe, walk your dog type vibe, you know, cause it's very, very soft no like compression or anything like that, but very comfy, good for around the house. So this is not obviously gonna be my pick for the gym today, but I just wanted to show you guys what I actually was asleep in. I was wearing the striped boxer shorts on the right, as you saw at the beginning of the video, and it also has this uh, little baby tee, you guys. If you get this baby tee, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a pre-warning. Get it in multiple colors, cause you're gonna want it in multiple colors. It's the perfect fit. Y'all, when I tell y'all, ever since I got this package, I've been wearing these pieces nonstop. Everything's just super comfortable, and I feel really, really confident in it. Like on the left, I have on these little yoga pants. You can choose if you wanna wear them low or high. I kinda switch it up, honestly. And on the right, we got the little cargo sweats if that's more your vibe. But again, this also looks really good with the baby tee. Like we have so many options. I'm actually showing you their pieces today because on August 4th, which is today through the 13th, they're gonna be having a huge sale, 40% off of almost everything on the website. And let me tell you also, they have really, really good prices. So I'm very excited for you guys to see this 
sale because I'm probably gonna have to head back over and collect some more of these baby tees in that corset I showed you. But look at this little dress. So this is another good little workout thing. Like if you do something like tennis, or again, you can go to your local market with it on. Uh, if you do like it like a little shorter or you wanna go for a little ballet core moment, I did show like a different way that you can tie it, but we need our workout outfits. So look at these right here. I have no words. I'm so glad I got both colors. This back out moment is everything. And one thing I really like about their pieces is I feel like they really pay attention to like how comfortable you're gonna be. Like I don't feel overexposed or like things are showing that aren't supposed to be showing. Thank you Gilly Hicks for paying attention to detail. If you yourself are looking for a little gym motivation in the form of cute clothes, or you just want some new cute pieces to head out in or go to sleep in or be around the house in, make sure to check out the description box because I will have all the info for the sale and of course, all the links to everything below. So now that I'm all cute, I'm ready for my workout of the day. Now, look, I'm telling you, working out is key because I have my fall off moments. And when I am not at the gym on the regular, I am not doing well, okay? If you wanna know anything about my mental health, ask me how many times I'm going to the gym. And if I tell you zero, no, I am not well, okay? So I typically like to go at least bare minimum three times a week. If I'm having a really good week, I mean really good, it's typically like five times a week. I feel like working out is one of the key components to having a good daily routine. It helps with discipline overall, helps with your health, and of course your physical, you know, that means looking good, which I love to look good, but I feel like that's a big, big thing that I've been paying attention to lately is my overall discipline. If I am not starting my day off at the gym, I feel like like I said, nothing is going well in life. If you're one of those people, you just feel like you cannot seem to get things together. You can't seem to stay on task. You can't seem to stick to anything. Your first thing needs to be trying to stick to the gym. And let me tell you, I am really doing that right now. I feel like the proof is that I'm doing upper body day, y'all. I am doing upper body day on the regular. Normally, if I'm kind of falling off, I will of course do like a lower body day because your girl is always trying to work on her glutes and her thighs. But I had to finally come to realize that if I wanted my lower body to look good, I was also gonna have to work on my upper body. So we're doing a back day today because I don't know if you know this, but if you work out your back, it kind of gives this illusion to make your waist look smaller. And if you're working out your butt too, to make your butt look bigger. And I'm all the way here for that. So I don't miss a back day ever since I learned about that. So I just thought I'd give you that little tidbit if you're also a girly who does not like to do upper body day. So we are also going to be working on abs today. I typically like to do upper body the same day that I do my abs. And I normally do cardio on these days too, but I'm on my cycle today and I gotta give myself a little grace. I mean, it's good enough that I'm here, right? I'm not about to get on that treadmill, not... Not when Aunt Flo was here, no. So once I get that workout out of the way for the day, I feel like my life is kind of a breeze from here on out. So we're actually getting ready to go ahead and make my breakfast. But first I like to set my little morning mood. I'm all about scents. I feel like everybody should have like some type of scent going once they wake up that they really enjoy. This scent that I have going is like a little orange scent coming from my diffuser. It's basically gonna help set the mood, go ahead and give me a little bit of energy because I feel like orange, it's like a very energetic scent. Like it just screams daytime, like get yourself together. So we're gonna start off with a little kitchen clean because it's kind of hard to cook in the kitchen when there's dishes that are not done and dishes that need to be put away. So I go ahead and start off with that. Now, I do need to mention, mind you, some people eat breakfast before they go to the gym. I am somebody who eats breakfast after I go to the gym. And I feel like it really just it all depends on you. Like you really need to know your own body. I know some people really like to eat breakfast before because it gives them energy. I tend to do pretty okay without eating before. I like to personally eat afterwards because I need every calorie that I eat to stick to me. I really struggle with calories sticking to me overall. So that's why I don't like to go and burn it off in the gym and like to eat afterwards. But now that my kitchen is all clean, it's time to get my breakfast together. I like to have a very, very colorful plate. So we like to use like a lot of 
ingredients from the earth. I've got eggs, I've got fruit. I'm also doing bread, but I've switched over to gluten intolerant, or not gluten intolerant, but you know, gluten free bread. I actually found out that I'm not gluten intolerant, but I decided to stick to gluten free options for the most part because I have noticed my body still likes it better. Even for you, if you're not gluten intolerant, it actually is better to try and switch over to more gluten free options just because for some reason the regular wheat options are not the best for you it's not essential but it's just something extra i like to do since i gaslighted myself into thinking that i was gluten intolerant and now i'm just used to it so i just kind of deal with it i can have breakfast without eating fruit but i will say i definitely prefer my breakfast when i have fruit it just gives me a little bit of extra energy. We love the natural ingredients, the natural candy that God gave us from the earth. So that is what we're gonna be having on our plate today, okay? I love me a peach, I love me some cherries, and it's also cherry season, so of course, I have to indulge. Like they literally say, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It just definitely gets you started. And if you're anything like me and you just find yourself like really just working your butt off past lunch, breakfast is especially important for you because it's a good chance you may not eat lunch. So you better make sure that you eat breakfast. Okay, now that my plate is all made, it is time for my absolute favorite part of the morning. Now, mind you, this part of the morning can get a little dangerous, okay? Because you know, when you sit yourself in front of a television or some sort of entertainment with food, it's a good chance you may not get up, which is why I time myself during this portion. So I typically don't give myself more than 30 minutes for breakfast and even the following things i'm gonna time myself as well we're gonna be watching girlfriends today i do not want to admit to you how many times i've rewatched girlfriends it's my comfort show there's something about mornings i like to watch something comforting not too overstimulating and i feel like girlfriends is my absolute perfect watch y'all please please let me know what your comfort watch is because I have seen girlfriends way too many times and I need more things on the list. So if you have a little comfy cozy show you love to rewatch, let me know. But now that I'm done with my little entertainment of the day, it's time to get into a little bit of more entertainment before I actually start my work day. So I do like to read because that's just something that I enjoy. I recommend you just finding something that you enjoy and just doing it for a few minutes before you start your day. It's like just something to look forward to. I recently just started getting into the fantasy genre. Thanks to you guys. Y'all told me also that this series was really good and to keep going. So yes, we are reading A Court of Mist and Fury today and it's a little spicy. Okay, I'm almost finished with it. But following after that, it's time to get into a little bit more of a serious mode. So I'm actually reading this book called The Artist's Way and I actually just started it. Okay, but I've just heard a lot about it on TikTok. If you are somebody who is like an artist or a creative person, or even if you find yourself to be a creative person, but you have a hard time calling yourself an artist, I highly recommend this book. I feel like in the day and age of social media, it's kind of just ripping the creativity from a lot of like me and like my fellow creatives. I feel like social media can inspire, but I feel like it can also rip away your desire to do what you truly want to do and express yourself in the way that you really want to express yourself. So apparently this book, The Artist's Way, is supposed to be a book that really helps you get back to that helps you get back to like your creative inner child that you were growing up. I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes. I told you guys months ago that I've been getting into learning Spanish and I'm still going strong y'all. I am five months in of learning Spanish. I cannot wait to see where I'm at a year from now. But I was just highly motivated because my grandmother, she passed a couple of years ago and her primary language was Spanish. So I was just really inspired to actually learn her language. I feel like I owe it to myself, even just as a human being to know more than one language because the American school system, like baby, why don't we know more than one language like every other country around here? So I'm working on that currently. This is another thing I'll keep you guys posted on. If you have any Spanish learning tips, feel free to let me know. But that brings me to the end of my morning routine. I am done with everything at this point and this is the point where 
I get my butt up and I start getting to work. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like it if you did enjoy it. And of course, be sure to subscribe if you guys want to see more from me. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.